Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In the last part, we took care of the Siege of Mos Eisley, and in this part, we'll handle sabotage at Renvar on Renvar. Our long standing listening outpost of the high peaks of Renvar is under rebel attack. This outpost is key to monitoring the local systems for rebel activity. Defend the monitoring station from the rebel attack. Okay, so the rebels have found the ancient monitoring station on Renvar. They must be attacking it to prevent us from observing their fleet moves. Defend the station at all costs. Remember, pilots can build and repair blaster turrets. Okay, so this is one of those um, infant, in, infantry specific levels. No vehicles, just soldiers and turrets. And, like Camino, See here in a moment. Each side starts off with one command post. Unfortunately, I just find this to be rather unbalanced for Galactic Civil War because of what I'm demonstrating right here. Dark troopers can pretty much just jump out and grab most command posts. There's a few that the rebels can beat them to because they're indoors the entire time and you can't really use the jump pack as well when there's a roof over your head so Our reinforcements are being depleted. some balance but I still feel post. like Empire is too much of an advantage we because of the jet the troopers post. at least at the beginning also because the command post of the Empire can beat them to give them the high ground edge like actually there's really only one command post the rebels can beat the Empire to one that's basically like an even. Well, actually, no, the Empire can still. Yeah, there's like one that the Rebels can actually beat a Dark Trooper to, so. If. This, was, this would be really unbalanced for online play where people are actually smart enough to use Dark Troopers to jump out. So, just that early grab of command posts definitely give the Empire an advantage and I'm gonna be a bit risky post. and just run up here and try to take this. Actually, I think you can still capture it a little ways up these stairs, so I'm gonna kind of hide a little bit back here. Okay, oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, it still works back here. Uh, now there's someone coming in. Okay. Enemy in range. Target acquired. Okay. Ah, that's not gonna get it. Look around this corner without getting shot at. He must be hugging that wall. Yep. Okay, got one of them. Is that dude? Sound like? Sounds like there's a Wookiee and. Not sure where the Wookiee is exactly. Okay, I guess the Wookiee left. We've captured a command post. Okay, so now they're down to one command post, so they're nearly down a hundred reinforcements now, so we're just tearing these guys to shreds at the moment. We've lost a command post. We've lost a command post. Now they're making a bit of a strong push. I'm not too concerned because this thing's Enemy pretty much over already, so I'm just gonna go around and try to heal up a bit. Actually, let's go in here. So they're at least still losing reinforcements the entire time. Okay. Take care of him. Enemy in range. Okay, we got this back. Well, they're still down to only two command posts, so. I'm really in control of this battle. This thing. This was over within two seconds of it starting. Even if we lose that, we should be fine. And I'd rather be in control of as many command posts as possible. So and we'll still have the fourth command post condition, so it's not too much of a worry. Just prefer that we're losing command posts all the time. Keep this slow short. We've cut off 
The rebel reinforcement. Enemy in range. Got him. Yes. There we go. We've captured a command oh, post. Okay. Not much more to do, really. I could try to push in the ice. Jeez. Just shorten this level a bit more. Um, but considering they keep moving towards this position, maybe it'd be a better idea. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just We've go heal up. The command post. Okay, they went after that one. Again, not too concerned. We still have four others besides it. I may be able to move up and get another command post once I'm done here on that because they look that Enemy forces have captured a command post. Should I go for that? Yeah, let's go for the far right command post. Right. And up. That guy is not coming back. Okay. Look at that. See, see how act ridiculous the shotgun can be. I mean, at this distance, I should be here now with like one bolt of shotgun. Problem is, the different bolts that spread out from the shotgun stay relatively close to one another. They don't continue to spread out the further away from you. They just spread out. And they basically say that on distance until they've run their course to them. So yeah, it's kind of balanced. Worry too much about it. It's not like it totally breaks the game, though it is rather annoying. And I just got nailed. Okay, so got them down to 50. Trying to take another one of our command posts. And I really don't give a crap because we're really just winning by about a hundred guys and I'm dead. Huh, <laughs> okay, whatever. Enemy forces have captured. Alright, so now they have four command posts, so that's a bit of a worry, but it's not like it matters. Even if they drop us down to two, I don't really see them coming back at all, so... Just to play safe, I'll go ahead and grab this thing. And be a little wimp and hide in the corner again. Right, come on. We've captured a command post! Can we jump out now? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So, to talk about something else, since there's not really much to talk about in this, um... Actually, a few weeks ago, I went and saw Captain America. That was... A good movie. Um, not exactly anything amazing, but it was good. I still say Iron Man, the first Iron Man, would be the best of Marvel's current The Avengers project thing they've got going with all their movies. But I'd say Captain America would definitely be second. Not a close second, because I still think Iron Man was really freaking good compared to all the other like, Marvel games. And ah crap, I'm trapped here, but yeah, it was still good. Movie I want to see, I really want to go see that Planet of the Apes movie. Because I only watched the original and the remake of the original. Like I watched the original maybe two years ago, and maybe the remake a little bit before that. I am really new to the series, but yeah, it looks good, and I just randomly die there. But yeah, be careful. You've, there's points where you can fall off and you're dead. So bear that fact in mind. This battle's almost over. Yeah, so I'm gonna go see Planet of the Apes. Hopefully, sometime this week I'll go see that. Enemy in range. Hey, 
and yes about that, the premise of a ton of super smart apes, regardless of their intelligence, overthrowing uh, technologically and military and freaking civilization that is far more advanced technology and military wise is kind of laughable regardless of how smart the apes are but I really don't give a crap I just want to go see the movie I and mean, I can see ways how they would actually resolve that by well yeah there's ways it would it basically involve the apes not actually winning instead most of them die and a few survivors run off into like the woods or some crap and slowly rebuild and create more advanced technology or some crap who knows who knows whatever let's get back to this game because we're going way off topic now so yeah we took care of that we have in okay so yeah took care of sabotage at Renvar and in the next part we'll handle assault on Yemen 4 see you guys then